Heather and Carlo, when two Encinitas youngsters saw this closed sign, they opened their hearts. Cow, 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 cow. Master Castle from Encinitas Karate felt as if she was being attacked when the COVID shutdown of 2020 left her business closed and completely empty. It's been really hard because I lost a lot of students. Students weren't allowed to show up, but Master Castle says her bills kept coming. You could tell that she was struggling. Vanessa Wells, an Encinitas mother, says late last place. year, her daughters, nine-year-old Maya and six-year-old Sahara, bumped into Master Castle and could tell she was down. They thought, how do we, what can we do to help? Pretty incredible what can happen when big hearts decide to help a small business. Maya and Sahara posted flyers around their neighborhood and started selling t-shirts. So mine's an eagle and mine's a bear with a forest inside it. The girls were hoping to sell a few t-shirts, but... I was super surprised. Suddenly, they were printing more shirts and money. People, if they donated $20 or more, they got a shirt. Master Castle remembers being all alone inside her business the day Maya and Sahara surprised her with an envelope. I was like, opened up and looked at it, it was $500. $500 check that they donated to the business. Five years ago, Maya took karate lessons at this studio. She forgot most of the moves, but not Master Castle. Very good. I mean, say good job. They told me that's that's was you know, for all the businesses they can donate. You know, they chose me, and I, you know, I was very very thankful. A tough karate master was brought to tears. Yes, <laughs> yes. Just when you thought COVID couldn't create any more tears, it made me feel very happy. I realized that every small thing counts. Hiya. Master Castle received a karate chop to the heart. I don't know what to say. And I was surprised. Ah. I'm really proud of my girls. In the Zevoli zone, hey, hey. Jeff Zevoli, News 8.